test. Can you make sure I don't look ugly? Like, can no, you I can't do that, no. Can you get up and like look real quick to just make sure I don't look bad? Does my head look like an egg? You know, like, does my hair look okay? Do I look okay? First off, I'm cold. It's freezing down here. Um, My nipples are hard. Do them? I don't know. Let me keep looking. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> I hope not. Um, welcome back to Brunch with Desby. Happy s- s- Sunday. Happy Sunday. And it's the last day of, of 2023. Wait, what did you just say? The year. Oh. The year. Oh. It works. Last day of 2023. How about that? How about that? That's scary. Obviously, we are recording this early. Very early. And by very early, I mean literally December 11th, 12th. 12th. So we are ahead of schedule. Mm-hmm. Eh, holiday season, you know. Yeah, you know, just got to get it done fast. Yep. Got to um, get ahead of the ball. Get a, ahead of schedule that you plan out and then like mm-hmm. it just happens faster than you maybe were planning. Yeah. Kind of like <laughs> what's like going the on? the elephant in the room. <laughs> <laughs> or the peanut. Kind of like the raspberry in the room. You know what? I think I left a bun in the oven <gasps> upstairs. Was Did that happen before Thanksgiving? It might have. <laughs> it did. It did. <laughs> <laughs> Well, guys, if you didn't hear, we're pregnant. Woo, me too. Uh, I know. I don't know why people say that. Cause like, let's be honest. Like, we're you're pregnant. not. I get it. <laughs> I get me. it. I get it. It's easy in conversation, but but, but the we're weird not. pregnant. The we're pregnant. I don't. There's. Uh, I went back and forth on this. No, because it, it doesn't really involve you. No, I agree. <laughs> it's. N- I'm not the one pregnant. I'm not going to say we're pregnant, but there is. It's just a we're weird. We're expecting. Okay, I, think is I can like fair. see that because you're both going to be expecting a child. Yeah. But like to say we're pregnant, it's like, but you're not. Like you don't go through it. So yeah, like, right. No. I, no, I agree. It is weird. It's like. It's wait. a weird thing. But I do, I, I can acknowledge where we are expecting because we're both, we're shocked. Yeah, we're pregnant. <laughs> Let's just be honest in terms of. English language, it makes no sense. That's yeah, we're correct. pregnant is dumb. If yeah, you're that using that in sense. 2024, you're in dumb. Ro- you got one day left. Yeah, you have one <laughs> you day to get out of your system. Left to change Someone that shit. out there is going to be on Facebook. We're pregnant, we're pregnant, we're pregnant, we're pregnant, we're pregnant, we're pregnant, just to get it out of their system. Yep, right. Of course. Somebody yeah. is out there doing just that. Just doing sure. the Lord's work. Mm-hmm. When I turn this way and look at you, does it look like I'm not looking at the camera? Like, no. like you can't see my face? Uh, I mean, kind of, but like, not. it's nothing I would worry about. Okay. I was just thinking a little. Shimmy shift yeah. at some point, maybe Whatever. better. Um, yeah, well, we're really avoiding this. I aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> it's weird because we haven't like said it yet out loud. So like saying it early, I almost feel like who's going to hear it? it? Feels Someone's fake. listening. It doesn't feel real still because we've yeah. held it for a good amount of time. Yeah. Like so nobody. Yeah. No one. Literally nobody for. Almost three months. Yeah, that's crazy. Like I'm three months pregnant mm-hmm. out of nine, you know, like. That's crazy. Yeah. That's we didn't crazy. tell a single person. Yeah. So we're expecting, <laughs> mm-hmm. we're expecting a child in July, July, July 4th, 4th. America, baby. Um, um, it is an American baby. It is American made American baby. How about that? We will name, we shall name them Patriot or George Washington. <laughs> we shall name them George. <laughs> <laughs> no matter what. <laughs> um, or well, well, what if it's a girl? What so? Who's the girl? Betsy jo- Betsy Ross or something? The yeah, one that I made mean, the flag. Betsy Ross. This I this should be way funnier. My brain is not re- real fast right now. Wasn't it Betsy something? I feel like I need to be laughing at you, but I'm not. <laughs> Hold on. Betsy Ross. It sounds like an act. Uh, just an actor. Who made the flag? Betsy Ross. Oh, nice. Nice. <laughs> nice. Okay. Um, cool. I always get. <laughs> <Cool>. I, <laughs> I for some reason, whenever I think of Betsy Ross, I always want to say Rosie Rosie McDonald. Like they're the same Rosie person McDonald? to me. Rosie McDonald. What or Rosie O'Donnell? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, if if we end up having a girl, we're gonna name her Betsy. Betsy Ross Piper. Betsy Ross. Oh God. <laughs> oh, just kidding. It's like Betty White. Yeah. So yeah, we're expecting we will not be finding out what them is. Yeah. <laughs> what we what them be. is. We won't. We're waiting. We are waiting. Um there's only a few things in life that you get to be excited about, including 
getting pregnant again and not knowing that you're pregnant. Yeah. Um, but then it was like, well, this is our true last go. Like yeah. I want to make that so clear. So we're like, why not just do it the most craziest possible? Do it without knowing it would happen and then do it and not find out. And then tell nobody. And tell no one. <laughs> Until a podcast. <laughs> Until a podcast. We share <laughs> right. that information. Right. So it was uh, definitely a shock. Wyatt was beside himself. I, I was, was very excited. Yeah, he I'm bawled his lie. eyes I, out. I, I think I cried harder out of joy than I did even the first time like you hear it you know yeah like I remember I cried pretty good with with Maddox uh, you kept Maddox. crying on and off like it would just hit you yeah, 10 minutes I later mean, <laughs> yeah exactly it was just like that overwhelming like holy shit um like you know just nerves even were coming out in those emotions of like I don't know what to do about it but now this third one was just it was honestly pure joy like I was so excited and it's so funny it's like I had conversations leading up to the weekend before Des surprised me um with my brother-in-law and he was laughing. He's like, Oh, you're only saying you you'd be okay with a third because you think Des is late, late. Don't you? I was like, well, I mean, maybe, but funny enough, like he's kind of right. I think I just, in my mind, I just realized I was like, it is a well, possibility. It's a possibility. Could it happen? And even before we knew that she was a little late, it was like, we've kind of talked in the past six months of being open to the idea of like, just yeah. how would we bring in a third? Also, yeah, like just we like would be discussing at some point, you know, it, kids in school ideally have another <laughs> chance <laughs> like just a little different separation you know enjoy the two kids we have let them get closer to school or in school and then you know explore it and actually have a chance to try um <laughs> and go yeah try um but obviously that did not happen but I was elated so by the time she told me basically I just got to the point in the frame of mind where I was excited and knew that I will want one at one point. So yeah. when I did, I just realized, like, I was let's like, just do this it. Is it. Yeah. yeah. Like I'm so happy because at the end of the day, it's cheesy, but it's so true. It's like children are the entire world. Yeah. Like it's, it's so special to have them, to raise them, to look ahead, all the different milestones you cross. It's like at the end of the day, it's like, yeah, that's what you live for. Changes. You know, yeah, it yeah. does. It does. It's cheesy, but it's like, it's so true. Yeah. So it was, I was very, very excited. Well, and it's so funny because I think it was two weeks before I'd found out I'd have to go back and date the podcast of when me and Michaela talked because we had a podcast together and we were talking at the end about having another kid. Like I was specifically was talking about having another kid and she was like, well, you know, would, when would you do it? And again, this whole podcast, we're talking at the end about like a couple years. Like That's what funny. do you think three would be hard? Like, I mean, we talked about it. I'm trying to find, I want to find the episode. So we talked on, so this is, it says October 22nd. So by this point I was pregnant. <laughs> I was before I left for Cause Nick's. I, we got, when I stayed at Nick's, we got pregnant the weekend of my award ceremony. For WMU. That was September, right before our anniversary, right? Oh, yeah. We celebrated. Because <laughs> you had come back. That's why. From yeah. Detroit. Yeah. Missed you. <laughs> right. <laughs> A lot, apparently. So, anyways, we <laughs> had recorded that podcast, and we were discussing it. And um, I was very open to it. And two, two or three months before, so I got pregnant in September. A few months before, I remember, it was like literally two periods before, I remember we got like close to the ovulation. And I was like, ooh, I could have got pregnant. And I remember starting my period and I was like sad. And I think I talked about it even in a podcast where I was like, it's weird. I like wasn't sad because I didn't want it technically, but like I had entertained it in my mind where I was like, I would have maybe been excited. Like it was so weird of like, yeah. I don't want it. But then it was really sad when it started. And I think a lot of moms out there who are either done with their like journey of parenthood or are like trying or just know they want to have it at some point. It's almost like sad when it's not positive, even when you don't want it to be positive. Right. But it shows that it's funny how you had that already in your mind. Yeah. Too. Was it was like in my mind. And so once we had started discovering that or kind of talking about it again, we were very clear that it was going to be a couple years because we have really gotten to like a good spot of just like routine. The kids are sleeping. We can travel with them easier. We can leave them easier. We can, feed them easy. I mean, everything's gotten like easier. And, um, I've also like, you know, a um, year and a half postpartum, like you just, you really feel like yourself again, truly. And, um, so we were very clear that we wanted to wait a while, but I was willing to like 
potentially like trust my body again to like carry a child. Cause we've also been very open here about like adoption or like fostering. Like, I don't even know what that journey would have looked like. Right. But I was like very adamant for a minute that like, I did not want to physically have another child like at all. Um, so we kind of tinkered back and forth about it. And I think ultimately did come to the position where it's like, I would be willing to like trust like myself again. And, um, yeah. So then we celebrated not on purpose. Mm -mm. It shouldn't have happened. There was a full plan B, not even, I shouldn't even say plan. We didn't take plan B. I'm saying like, we, we did what we should have done to not have it happen clearly. So yeah, like the the act wasn't done. And you know what I mean? If you're an adult, (laughs) but that's why the is it so taboo part? to just say know. he didn't come inside me i mean it's awkward but it's but we all do it we got family out there i know but it's just to say it. it's so crass sure it, it is. is crass but you know family's probably not listening right now and if they are probably not Welcome. it's it happened to you hey that's how babies made yeah babies are made just making it know. clear but yeah we we didn't we didn't do the act so it's kind of crazy um probably gonna freak a lot of people out there out um yeah knowing that that happened. I also was like four days away from my ovulation. So like I was, I was aware of where I was too. Like I was like, okay, I'm far enough away where like we didn't have a condom available. So we're like, but it's okay because we're resorting to another route of contraception. Mm -hmm. And we're also, I'm far enough. Like I'm just, I'm good, you know, cause I've had a consistent period now for like a a while. Right. Whatever. So it was just like truly, uh, what the fuck? How? 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 Like, like we, I mean, literally, was how? Like, what? That did it? Did that doesn't make sense? Yeah. So fast forward, and like I'll just share my part of the story. Is like, I was going to Olympia with Alani, and I was meeting up with all the girls, Libby, Claudia, and Chloe, and I was like, okay, this week, like, so I was already four days late, which is like nothing, right? You're like four days could just have a weird. I was losing weight. I don't really know how, but like I had noticed the month of September, um, leading into, or I'm sorry, the month of October, I had been like losing weight. So I was like, okay, maybe like my hormones just got weird. I don't know, like whatever it could have been. And so four days was like nothing to me, but then I was at Olympia and I had told Wyatt that I was late, but mostly cause I was just like, yeah. I wasn't even worried about it. I was just kind of sa- saying it out loud, like whatever, I don't know, whatever. So then I got to Olympia and I knew I was going to, can you, don't put your mouth all over that. (laughs) So then I was going, I was there and I was like, okay, well, I know we're going to want to like probably drink a little bit this weekend, like go out to dinner, have drinks, like whatever. I just, you know, out of the respect of my body, I should probably just make sure I'm good. So I had a few calls in the hotel room and I was like, fuck it. I'm just going to add it to my DoorDash order. (laughs) So I DoorDashed pregnancy tests, like a Gatorade in fucking beef jerky, I think was my DoorDash from nice. from Walgreens. And I went healthy, in the- Healthy, healthy order. Yeah. Went in the bathroom, pissed on the stick. And I, I mean, I'm telling you when I did it so nonchalant, I'm like, just fucking, just like get it over with. Like, this is so stupid. I can't believe I'm doing this. Like, I know it's not. Yeah. <laughs> this is so stupid. So whatever, I fucking, you know, whip it dry, just throw it on the counter. I'm like, I don't give a shit. Go back, do my calls. I walk back in the bathroom because I'm about to leave to go work out downstairs in the hotel gym. And I saw the test. And I was like, oh, fuck, I forgot to do that. So I went to go f- flip it over. And I was like, you what know if? what? <laughs> what if? This is a little bit more serious than I think. So I set up my phone. Because I was like, here's the thing. If you do a pregnancy test and it's negative, it's not like cringe, right? Because no one knows you fucking did it. Yeah. So I was like, I'm just going to record it. And if for some reason it's like a dud. Then it's whatever. Then I it's like no one fucking matter. knows. Yeah. yeah, I'm like, whatever. It's not like, like I'm on live TikTok, right. you know, something. So then I had it down and I was like recording. I'm like, I just don't have a good feeling about this now. <laughs> and I like, I'm like kind of like shaking. I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna like, you guys tell me. I'm like, I just, you look first. And so I put it up to the camera and I'm like this. And all you can see on the video is like pee dripping off the stick, but like this positive arrow. Oh no. <laughs> and my eyes are closed. I'm like, what is it? <laughs> and I look at it and all you see is my face literally go I mean the widest like no fucking way and that's all I said the whole video I was like no fucking way yeah no fucking way I, no fucking way. I walked out of the I room no fucking way 
no fucking way. That's all I said for like 60 seconds. And like, I was like looking at myself in the mirror. I'm like, no, you're not like, no, you're not. No, you're not. No, you're not. No, you're not. Like, I was not well. So then I went downstairs, like did my normal work. I like recorded it on Instagram. No one would have like, it's so funny how you never know what someone's going through. Yeah. Right. Cause news just you came never up. know. You never know. And I was just, you know, doing my workout. And by the way, like I was looking like my best, right? <laughs> like I was like, damn, like then you just start respecting your body and you're like, wow, like I really have worked so hard postpartum for the second time. And so I'm like looking at myself like, damn, like you're looking good right now. Like you're tanned up, like you're looking shredded, you know, all these things. And, um, everyone was like, your hamstrings, like your glutes look great. Like all this stuff. Everyone's replying that day. And I'm like, I'm going to get gonna fat again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so then like, uh, all the girls were like trying to get me to drink and I was like, I can't. And Chloe was like, you're pregnant. <laughs> and I was like, I couldn't even hide it. Right. Cause it was just already new news. And I was like, and she was like, Oh my God, like how far are you? And you're and like, I, no, literally I was like, I just, just found out, out <laughs> about four hours ago. And they were so shocked. I mean, we were all, they were so also nice. Like they were all so happy and it was nice to kind of have that group of girls that weekend like and just, support just to almost. like shelter, like the shock. Yeah. Um, that's actually pretty good. I didn't yeah, it that. was nice. And they, again, they were so supportive and were just like, they were like, it's going to be a girl. It's going to be a girl. Like they everyone yeah. was already guessing. And, um, when Libby found out, she was like, no, no, you're not. No, you're not. No, you're not. You're lying. <laughs> Des. No, you're not. No, you're not. And Chloe was like, she just found out. She's like, no, you're no, you didn't. What did you like? You she and was Libby shocked. just yeah. mirrored each yeah. other. <laughs> like, uh, so listen, I know we ended up having a really great weekend. Luckily, I felt fine. Like there, like I, oh my god, I was like two days pregnant. Like it was crazy. Literally. I just had found out. So then I went back home. Or I went to the Disney store, and I got some Christmas pajamas for all of us. And my nanny had express ordered like a little onesie that said, "I promise I'm the last one." <laughs> <laughs> So we, I picked it up from her mailbox that night driving in. Cause again, I knew I was already late and I told Wyatt. And so I, he was going to be like, did you start yet? Did you start? Like I knew I didn't want it to be our last surprise and then have to tell him like that. Like, no, yeah, I didn't start no. it. You know, like that's not Which fun. I'm so glad you held off on. Cause I don't, yeah. I don't, I, I well, luckily, like I, luckily I, I got, I to luckily surprised. I got home late. Like he was already asleep. So I didn't have to like come in with like, how was your trip? Did you start? Right. I'm like, ah, so that, that next morning, I mean, it was like 9am Santa's coming, you know, everyone's getting ready for the day. I'm like, Hey, I've got everyone gifts. Yeah, uh, I just showered. Yeah. I just shaved my face for the first time in like a year plus, <laughs> like, you know, electric shave, but I've been having a beard. So I was used to it. I cut it off and I'm like still kind of tired and swollen a little bit Yeah, and my beard's gone. I'm like, She's like, oh, well, we're gonna, I want to make a real. I'm like, right, right <laughs> now? I'm like, I just shaved my beard. I look like I'm 12. I was like, well, I might just not use the film. I just want to like transformation real. Like I want to do like on like our Christmas jammies and then the day we have them on. Like it was I'm, pretty, I'm like, it was pretty right. smart. I was like, all me. right, whatever. Yeah. And I mean, at that point, it's like at this point in our relationship, I'm just, I learned to just like, okay, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> okay, like just whatever, do the video. Fine. Let's yeah. do it. So then like Maddox opened his pajamas and I had like a little Mickey and like a bracelet that I bought him. And then I was like, okay, Archie's turn. And like Archie opened his and he had a Pluto and a little bracelet. And I was like, okay, daddy's turn. And then when Wyatt opened his up, it was the onesie with, I think even maybe my pregnancy tests. And he was just like, just shot. I mean, uh, I sat there shocked. like hands on the bed. He was like, like are you serious? What? And I was like, yeah. And then we both cried. And it, I mean, it was pretty cute again to, to have like a, final video because we didn't we don't even have one with Archie because it was so <laughs> traumatic um that back. experience was so terrible oh it was so funny like it was such a second child like that poor thing well it was he was as surprised uh, uh, biggest surprise of any of them um mm -hmm. but yeah it was just so funny we're back from a trip um <laughs> that we were gone for like a week and then we get back and we have nothing at the house for Maddox. So we had to grocery shop at like nine o'clock at night PM at Kroger. Yeah. And then got to our house by the time. It, then it was like nine 30. I'm FaceTiming my buddy at the time. <laughs> just like, you know, just got back. Like, what's up, dude. Just talking to him. Bullshitting. And <laughs> I just hear from up the stairs. Wyatt. And I'm like on the phone, not paying attention. Wyatt. I'm like, what? She's like, it's, positive and throws <laughs> the stick down at me and I catch it. I go, Oh no shit. And my buddy on the FaceTime, he goes, what? I was like, 
we're pregnant. <laughs> oh, hey, we're pregnant. All right, there we're you go. Pregnant. I just said it. Um, but yeah, so that was funny, but yeah, yeah, it was a shock. And I mean, you say Archie's a shock. Yeah. I would say equally this child is just as much of a shock and it Oh, in boy. a way that we wanted it. So we were like, like low key kind of hoping it would happen. But then like, we really weren't. Yeah, it was perfect. To, oh my God. It was to the build up. Crazy. Yeah, shocking. I cannot express the level of shock I had. Like no way. Even right now, I like don't feel like it's real. It's still doesn't because we at this point. Oh, we haven't have told, anyone. told anyone. Yeah, that does. It doesn't become real when until other people know. And you can kind of like share and also just like bear all. Like I have been sucking in so fucking hard in all my Instagram photos. <laughs> I, I've almost got to the point where I've downloaded like Facetune to like edit. Cause even at this point, I'm like, if someone tried to call me out for photo- Photoshop, like just wait, give me two weeks and you'll understand why I was doing it. Like, it's yeah. like, I don't care. Um, like if anything, it'd be a fun way to like cancel me and then be like, Oh, just kidding. She was just hiding a pregnancy. Like, yeah, you fuckers yeah. also makes my butt bigger, like whatever. So it was, it's been like difficult in that way. But also like, I think until like we have really felt comfortable with where this pregnancy is and like, is it safe? And it, I, I don't know, just the underlying experiences we've had, weeks. the underlying experiences we've had. It's just like, it also, I feel like I've been like purposely removing myself from it because I just, I don't even want to be like hurt or too s- stressed out even leading up to anything. Yeah. You know, it, like, yeah. So obviously a lot of emotions to control going into the third one, but yeah, it, it hasn't felt that way because again, it's spot it's on. Just it's so like, like, we're trying to, kind of disassociate in a way of like, let's not make this real until we have to Mm -hmm. and let's just keep doing our thing. So yeah, even at this point of recording, we have not told any family members. No. And when we say nobody, obviously we have like one or two that are in our life that kind of need to know, like she said, nanny. And then of course her friend group that was just in the moment. (laughs) But other than that, yeah, nobody. Yeah. It's been, it's crazy. Like I said, I really don't feel like it's real. I mean, I'm, I'm so excited like I am starting to get excited because I think also I know I'm about to tell people so I'm like okay like this is like we're really doing this and um just get being able to like again just empower women in a way to like carry pregnancy and like not be scared of it and especially with uh, with what I've gone through it's like your body can your body can still do it you know like you can trust yourself again you can trust like all of it so we're yeah we're we're in the midst of like genetic testing. We've seen the ultrasound. We've done all the blood labs. You know, like everything is great. I have a lot of health anxiety too, naturally. Like I think we all do as we get older, just kind of like realizing you never know what tomorrow brings, right? Yeah. So I try I try not to like live in that mindset, but even just to have my blood labs done, you know, and then be able to be like, yeah, like your blood, like everything looks great. Like your panels look great, all that stuff. You know, it just also brings like a, thought of peace to you of just like, yeah. I, no matter what I get to be the healthiest mom for like my children, which like yeah. makes me feel happy too. Um, so we've haven't, well, we told the kids kind of right, but like, I've been talking to Maddox about it. Um, sometimes when we lay in bed at night and I'm like, you know, you have a, a sibling and my, like mommy has a baby in her, in her belly. And he's like, mm, psh, no, yeah, <laughs> no. no. I'm like, what if it was a baby sister? And he was like, no, I only want Archie. <laughs> <laughs> he said that the other day. <laughs> and I was like, um, but what if it's not Archie? He's like, no. No. <laughs> I was like, uh, okay. Well, um, it, so it's cute also. He'll just lo- like, he'll, he's going to be. Oh my gosh. Crazy. And Archie is so obsessed with babies. Like, he loves caring for things. And like dogs. Like, he loves dogs. He, he loves just, animals. He loves babies that are, just, get around him. He's very loving. It's so fun. Yeah. And so I know he'll be the first one to like want to like hold the baby and oh, like yeah. want to help. Maddox reminds me a lot of like me, like just the older child where kind of like just independent, eh, like, ah, like, okay, cool. See you later. I feel like Archie's going to be like on my hip. Like my sister was with my mom yeah. um, of like tie and stuff, just wanting to like give and help and do the bottles and you know, whatever it might be. So it's really crazy. We have honestly like no fucking plan. Like it's so funny how you just kind of vibe with it with the, with not just the second, but the third, like the kids will probably have to like share a room at some point. Yeah. We don't know like the nursery, like we don't care. (laughs) Um, unless it's a girl, then obviously like you better believe I'm painting that shit pink. It's going to be Barbie theme or like Candyland. I don't know. Probably not. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> <Candy land. laughs> really? yeah i want it to be like a mural like this you know but like candy that's 
Okay, we'll talk about it. We don't need to. <laughs> <laughs> there is no right. chat. Well, you know, we, we're not going to know, and we got to have everything done first, so we can't paint anything pink, and it's got to be neutral color and no. beige and boring. No, we're going to wait. We're going to wait. Um, because the baby's going to be in our room for a little bit, so we have time to, like... Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we're, we're excited. I really, I don't have any clue what it would be. Like, you know how sometimes you have, like, an inkling? Like I'm honestly, like, I would love to have a girl. Well, sure. Naturally. But, like, I'm saying, like, you Having don't feel boys, it. So, like, my intuition is what I'm saying. Like, I, oh, yeah. I don't know. Like, my pregnancy has been so different already. Like, I've, I've been so sick. But you um, were with Maddox, you know? You were yeah, with but that was Archie. also my first. I wasn't with Archie at all. I had very bad headaches and dizziness mm. with Archie. Mm. I only got sick, I think, twice. Weird. Um, but this time I've been, like, very sick in the, like for three weeks probably. And then the past week I haven't got sick as often or like woken up as terribly, but like maybe I've gotten sick mid- midday or something. Um, not a lot of other, I feel like I'm carrying smaller earlier, like with Maddox, with Ar- with Maddox to Archie. I think I was so newly postpartum. My body just like, just, just got blo- right like bloated yeah. and like expanded right away. So as much as I feel like I'm bloated and like showing I also feel like I'm like oddly smaller like I think back of like the Meanwhile, photos people the eye tracker <laughs> on this podcast is all right there oh I know <laughs> yeah I mean it, can't really tell yeah it I just I don't like I I have such a small frame when you see me on photos and I mean even in person where like the the minute I blow or like it's just so noticeable versus yeah. like and being your body able dysmorphia to kicking in a little oh, bit. Oh, 100%. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. 100%. Um, so it's been quite the journey just the past couple of months, like knowing this, keeping it, it's fear, been, it, knowing what yeah. now our life's going to change again. Like even with Christmas, I was like, holy fuck, next Christmas, like there's going to be a new baby and the baby's already going to be like six months old. Yeah, it's crazy. I Like, yeah. holy fuck. Like, th- I mean, it's just crazy how fast like life changes um and just like how am I gonna do it how are we how are we gonna do like all the car seats like we're not gonna be able to go anywhere <laughs> I know yeah traveling's gonna be impossible uh, it'll be interesting but it's also like so many people do it right like we're not the first ones to do it everyone yeah, no, does no, it there's it's not a complaint no it's just, it's just like, you're kind we of like, haven't even thought about it we are kind of honestly just talking out loud about this type of stuff for the first time that's why there's we're like, like almost delusional no, that, that we're so delusional say, like we got this uh, there's almost no thought to it and you can tell until we now we're really like really to talk about we've had nothing really to talk yeah. about because we've been just silent about it that is crazy but yeah i, I mean from my side when you were gone I, I mentioned my brother-in-law and, but when, uh, she left, she said she was late, whatever, but it was the night before she got back. My brother-in-law came over. We were just hanging out, watching some football. And, and that's when we were talking about it. And he's like, Oh, you're only saying you'd be okay with the third. Cause you already know she's late. So you're already mentally preparing. And we laughed at it, whatever, whatever. But I remember in the back of my mind thinking, I'm like, well, at the same time, and I didn't say this to him, but I was like, at the same time, Des, 100% would have told me if she got her period, mm-hmm. like you said. And so in my mind, I'm like, I would not be shocked if she's pregnant because she, one, she should have started. And two, if she didn't and she didn't check, then she's going to come home and check and she could still be pregnant. And that's almost a week late. And at that point, you, like that's you, crazy. You got a pretty good feeling. Yeah. So, yeah. So from my perspective, I was quite honestly, like not expecting it, but I think like in mentally, the back of my like, mind okay. was like, yeah, I think she's, legitimately late so it is funny yeah it well and it's kind of exciting in a way because I feel like since I'm so far removed postpartum like pretty far right like a year year and a half am I in the frame back here barely I've been able to actually like download the pregnancy apps again because like I didn't remember like I don't remember like how big is the baby at eight weeks how big is the baby at 10 how when do I start feeling this like when like I didn't really like it kind of feels a little like new again um, to like experience. And I think I'm like way more encouraged, not encouraged, sorry, but like excited to share my journey because I think oddly, I got like a little bit of imposter syndrome with Archie, which number one, things were just so difficult for us with him. But also number two, it was like, I just went through this. Like no one wants to hear about it again. You Like that yeah. sounds so silly. It's, it sounds dumb, but it's like, 
I was just pregnant. Like what, what is there to share? Like I just shared, it was like two journeys back to back. And I was like, what the, what the fuck? What the fuck? Like whatever. Um, so I'm excited because I think like you've seen, you guys have seen my body fully heal from pregnancy and be like truly postpartum. And then now being able to experience it again, it's just kind of like a full journey. Mm-hmm. Does that make sense? Instead yeah. of just like a back to back, whack and whack. Yeah, whack and whack. <laughs> yeah. No, it does. <laughs> yeah. And I, I like that at least, again, we were thinking more towards, you know, kids being in school again. But this is, I feel like, far enough out to where it's like now this whole new level of excitement also comes from looking at Maddox, like what you're saying, and like looking at Archie of mm-hmm. like, Archie might not be all, be all the way there, but he'll be pretty close be, by time two. He'll be two. He'll be a little over two. So yeah. he'll start to get it a little bit. But Maddox at his age, I mean, he he'll will be, be the almost boss. four. <laughs> It'll just be so funny to now know that we're having our kids know that there's another baby coming. Like, right. That's fun. Yeah. That's really fun to think of. Because obviously we had Archie so quick that Maddox, you know, whatever. He didn't yeah. know any better. But yeah, now with this third, it's crazy. Three kids, dude. I think like the, the fear for me was always, how is my heart going to expand to another one? But like after having Archie, it just makes you realize how you just love them all so different and you, but you love them all so deeply and so the same while being different. And, um, so I'm excited to like, see my heart just like grow bigger, but also be able to just see like the kids interact with each other. And like, ultimately I think I would even argue at Maddox's age, he will, none of them will know anything outside of just having one another. You know, like I don't know life without my sister, like ever. Um, and I think with where their ages are at, they'll, they'll not know life without one another. So I used to feel extreme mom guilt of like bringing more in. Yeah. Like, oh my gosh, like I, I didn't have my full first year with Maddox. I was pregnant. And then I I was, oh my God, I was so beat up about that. Like that I didn't get to experience. Cause with Maddox, our goal again was to put him, put him on a bus He's going to school and I got my full experience with my first baby. Yeah. So again, my idea was like five, four or five fucking years in between being able to have like my full first experience, full, a full ass kid. And then we had Archie and then now we're having them. They're like tattoos. Yeah. You just want to have more. You just want to have more (laughs) and they stay with you forever. And, uh, so it's, I don't feel as much guilt this time around because I know how beautiful it is to have a sibling and seeing like Archie and Maddox interact now. I think it would genuinely break my heart to see Maddox play by himself yeah. daily. Like it right. would literally tear me up. So knowing that like when I'm working and I just hear them laughing or like I see them, they play under like the tables now, like all of this stuff. It's just like, it's such a blessing to be able to give your children siblings and create like a big family. Like, Oh my God, like five of us in a car. I know. It's like, like it's so it's, like it's so fun. It, like it's it just it's but just that was, amazing. That's I mean that's something that Des and I we always we always argued about early th- two yeah. or three. She was set on two. I was like I want three because I'm an only child. I want a big family. You know, knowing how family just naturally evolve. I've you know I have a massive family on uh, my mom's side. I have a pretty big family on my dad's, but my mom's side we were there were a bunch of cousins, um, all women, which is hilarious, <laughs> but all all girl cousins growing up all within five years of age. Mm-hmm. And so we were a clique of like real tight family. Um, aunts and uncles, I was, every aunt and uncle had at least, let's put it this way, had at least two kids. Some of them had three. Mm-hmm. So I always had a big family, but obviously as we're all getting older, my cousins and, you know, they're all married or getting married, all having kids or planning to have kids. So, you know, those family systems are starting to branch into their own, no. right? Right. So I always knew that being an only child, it's like, if I want a big family, I have to be, you have to do it yourself. Yeah. I have to be the grandma, grandpa looking down the line of like our kids and then their grandkids. Mm -hmm. And the only way to get there was like, I want a big family. I know how much I loved it. I know how important it was to me. And so I was like three kids. I would love that. I think that'd be great. Yeah. I don't think I could do four. Don't think I could do four. No. But I think three will be like fun. It'll be perfect. I, I, I can't wait. Yeah. I, I just... Now I'm like anxious about like what it will be. Cause like at the end of the day, there is always a 50, 50 chance, right? Like no matter what, like you're rolling the dice, whatever. Um, but regardless, it's just going to be so cool to like be ready for both. Yeah. And then in that moment, I mean, like I am pretty scared about like giving birth just because again, like both experiences were just so different that I've had. So I'm like, what is this experience going to look like now? Like 
can I ask to be induced? Like, I don't know if I would be okay with just my water breaking. I feel like I'd be fucking scared because I've never had that. I've never had my body just like Go. naturally do it. Um, so I'm like, I don't think I would even want that. Like, I think it would stress me out more. I'd rather just like, can we just like plan an induction? Give me my Pitocin again. Give me an epidural. Um, and that's another thing I want to make very clear. Like I will be getting an epidural. Well, if you have time. Again, I know, but I'm just saying like, I have, I have no shame and being like, yeah, I did one natural, like, oh, I would do it again. It's like, no, 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 I'm good. Um, no, isn't there a thing though, that inducing has like been shown to cause more issues? Um, like, I mean, I think naturally you want your body to do it for you. Natural as possible. Right. But, but also like R2 is (laughs) fine. So. He was also induced. When he had to be, <laughs> you also started labor on the way sure. to induction, so sure. it was like kind of all fair. Yeah, but, and so I you mean, kind of uh, did the middle ground. Yeah, of that ultimately, one. with where I should be delivering, it's like so in reach that it would be a much different experience than me knowing I if my water breaks, I have fun. to drive to Ann Arbor. You know, like it's so different oh, yeah. to think of a two and a half hour trek or even versus an hour trek to Bronson. Drive. Yeah, versus it being very close. So I think that. That would be a great round out to just have our third kid. Just like so just perfect, perfect. Cherry on the top. Like, please do. Well, that. I that literally have a note. Like, uh, so when I was on the plane to Olympia, I was going through my notes in my phone just to like, you know what I mean? When you like are bored and you just start deleting shit, you don't have Wi-Fi. So you're like, what do I yeah. need to go through? Yeah. So I was deleting some notes. And I mean, I even found stuff back from like on my plane ride home, home from Boise, like from bodybuilding.com. Oh, wow. And I was like, things to do for work, like newsletter. Like it was cute. Like I was just revisiting memory lane. And all of a sudden I came across this one from like nine twenty three twenty two. So at this point, you know, over a year ago and it said, I, I will have, I'm, I'm manifesting or I will have a third healthy baby girl. That's my, so my third pregnancy will be a third healthy baby girl or something like that. And I remember telling my um, esthetician that, because again, this is back to 2022. We had already started thinking like, fuck, do we actually want another one? And so I was talking to my facial girl while she's, you know, doing my facial. I'm like, she's like, no, I just think if you had another one, it's going to be a girl, like whatever. And again, if it comes out a boy, we're going to laugh at all this content, but it's fine. I like cannot express how much I don't care. It's just more of like the excite, the excitement of like, could it be like different? It's just different. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So especially just having two boys run our lives. Right. It's like, it'll be funny to see if a if balance it, comes in. Right. Yeah. Right? Why not? If not, then we just add more fuel oh my to God. the fire. Yeah. Like, guess what? I'm never aging because they're going to keep me so young. Yeah, like right. boys make me crazy. So, um, anyway, so I saw, I came across that on the plane to Orlando and I was going to delete it. Like I had swiped right to like delete it. And I was like, eh, I'll just keep it. Like, you know, you That's never so know. Funny. And then found out, you know, that yeah. net next day. But, um, yeah, I just, I would hope, I just, I'm hoping so badly that this is just a good, it, it, normal, top, just no, right, just showing up once a month, pissing in a cup, having them check my blood pressure and measure my belly and I get like, to leave. Okay, see ya. Yep. Um, and then as I get closer, like, you know, I take my glucose test and then like, they're like, okay, bye. See you again in a couple yeah. weeks. And then I go back and they're like, how are you feeling? And they're like, okay, see ya. And then. Yeah. And then I just wait, like one thing I've learned from talking to other parent friends of ours, um, um, Nick and you know, Bruno, uh, but I was talking to them and, uh, my buddies in-laws basically, um, they're on their third kid. They've had five pregnancies, um, three children now. So obviously get what happened, but, um, without airing out too much, just in general talking to the dad of them, um, he was saying, he's like, cause we were talking about both of our experiences. You know, they went through some tough times. We've obviously been through some tough times with our two kids. Um, but one thing we re- kind of realized is that like going through this process, the technology that goes into ultrasounds mm-hmm. and monitoring pregnant women, monitoring the babies inside of them. Um, there's so much technology that if the doctors see anything that could be potentially even a percent chance be something we've realized that like they they have to tell you Mm -hmm. and so like even through Archie for example they said one of his ventricles in his brain was slightly enlarged and they had to tell us what that is and they were like this could lead to neurological and emotional issues and like oh my god it was so fucking scary we're dealing with something else and they bring that up and you know I was telling him this and he's like yeah he's like I just think we're so advanced right now that we're seeing things that 
could again percentage of a chance be something mm-hmm. but they then therefore tell you and then they essentially give you all of this trauma now to go through mm-hmm. for a brief period of time until it turns out to be fine and Archie turned out to be fine and there was nothing ever a worry after that one meeting yeah but again it's just like you know if we run in and this is me also kind of talking to us but it's like you guys out there is like you know, you run into these complications or something that the doctor says, you know, don't get so wrapped up in it so quick because we've seen it now twice of how healthy these and resilient these babies are, but also just the technology, they just have to tell you. So it doesn't mean something's necessarily wrong. It's just, there's something there that they feel necessary to tell you. It never means it's going to amount to anything, but that's one thing that I've mentally prepared for and known that it's like, Hey, we want this to be perfect and great and everybody does for anybody's experience. But at the end of the day, it's like, you have to understand that pregnancy is not perfect. You know, I know, but I think it's just like everyone around me I've ever known in 90% of people that I see, it's just, they are like normal. Like, yeah, it's just like found out, got the blood test. Cool. Things are great. Went to anatomy. Look how cute my baby is and look how cute their head is kept going okay oh my god water broke and then I have this beautiful baby and I was never stressed the whole time I mean granted like naturally women as we're pregnant we always have stress of just I hope everything's okay inside I hope blah 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 blah. but it's just like so for me I've just always been like okay so like why the fuck can't that happen to me like why can't I just so again that's what I'm like manifesting and I'm hoping that this experience gets to amount to for me is that I do get to have one of those where I just get to truly enjoy it and bask in it and not have like my my additional stress like amplified and just be able to like experience it like and just be proud of it and just and share my knowledge with it too like I think also like when I was pregnant with Archie like I had learned so much about pregnancy postpartum caring for yourself during pregnancy working out during pregnancy and even for that I wasn't able to share that knowledge because I I maybe posted like so scared I maybe posted 10 times in that nine months like and most of them were just Archie updates I had no passion in like sharing anything else wanting to etc because I was just so wrapped up in stress yeah and so I like I said I just really want to like be able to be also like the educator that I am and and share the passion I have for like pregnant and postpartum women um be able to do that in just a non-stressful way for once yeah no doubt yeah and like and even with Maddox like up until I had him technically I had a normal pregnancy right like I did go every whatever but even with that like why it wasn't able to come to any of my points with me it was COVID, COVID yeah. um everything was just it, I was away from my family so even then I still had this like unresolved emotion of how my first pregnancy went and how it still felt robbed from me in the way where like he didn't even get to go to my anatomy scan like he didn't go to anything um and the only reason one ultrasound I think for Maddox no. one uh, because we bought one because yeah, we bought one we one. went to yeah. a 3d place and yeah. bought an extra ultrasound and luckily they were very nice enough to allow the family in there to watch it which was probably a passcode at that time yeah but so it was, was just only one yeah i just felt like it was like so robbed so anyways now now with where we're at in just the new year and like good vibes and just by now i'm like 13 weeks Yeah, I think. Um, And so, you know, we're a little under two months away from the anatomy scan. And I think that that's going to occur like mid February. Mm -hmm. Um, And so I I don't think I'll be able to like really rest until that. (laughs) But right. But like I'm going to find a way to navigate that those emotions. But I will say my doctors were like super sweet um, with just asking me, you know, do you feel like you're supported in this pregnancy? Like, I know you've gone through your other experiences. Like, do you think it's kind of trickled into this experience? And like, how can we help you better? Or is there any way we can like serve you better? Um, I just thought that was super kind for them to like acknowledge what I have gone through and be able to sit, to look at me and be like, you know, I can see where like you might have emotions coming up of through this one too. So how can we help you? So I think it's just having like a space such as brunch to like, share these emotions as I kind of navigate them as well as like share this, you know, new experience. Cause again, it's like, I haven't gone through this in a minute and it, it does feel new. I'm like, wow. Like I kind of forgot how like wiped out you feel or how this starts to feel or whatever. So I'm excited to go along with this and share it. And also 
I know a lot of people have shared their pregnancies with me in the past couple of weeks. Like I just found out I'm pregnant with my first. I'm like, well, awesome. Same. Like, can't wait to help, you know, yeah. like here to support you. Uh, so I'm excited to be able to be a resource of like so many out there um, who also are just going through this, you know, at the same time. Yeah. And also shout out to Olivia. I don't remember her whole handle live something, but she replied. And this is like two days after we found out I was pregnant with Archie upside down on his head. Um, and was like, Archie wants another sibling or it was something, or if you, if you're pregnant, if you find out you're pregnant, you have to name them after me. And I said, I would name them Oliver or Olivia. <laughs> um, so yeah, she was so right. And I think a lot of you actually replied to that and like laughed. Cause I was like, you all are going to hell. Um, but yeah, Archie's been doing that, putting his head down, like the typical, Scooting like they, the wife's tail thing. Yeah. Like yeah. they, they want to know they want a sibling or, or just in general, you're pregnant if they're doing that. And like literally I was, it was kind of I fucking know, creepy. So watch weird. your kids. Yeah. Tell them to cut it out. Just tell them to relax. But yeah, this is Archie's fault. Yeah. Wow. I know. Uh, happy. New Year's Eve. We're not even talking about our goals. <laughs> our goals are to get through this. Yeah, no kidding. That's fair. But good news and last news is that Six Weeks to Slay is open today, um, which is also crazy. Just like having all this going on at the same time. But our Six Week Challenge is open. Um, again, I do all my challenges, all my programs, everything, pregnant, postpartum, why it does them. Like, I mean, these truly are programs and challenges for everyone. We've had some crazy changes to DBFT and it's like so exciting to usher in a new year and just have the uh, utmost like excitement for just what is to continue like to come. Found yeah, focus, just, almost. Yeah, yeah, just so it's... excited to like serve our community better um, and specifically like our moms, moms trying to conceive, et cetera. So we're so excited. Join Six Weeks to Slay. Um in the show notes, description notes, link in bio, we do close on the 5th, which is Saturday. So get your coach spot, get your uncoached spot, same price. Inflation's gone up, but our prices haven't, you know? <laughs> Vibes. Trope. Vibes. So yeah, finish out your first trimester with me. If you're pregnant with me. <laughs> comment below. Comment below if you're pregnant. <laughs> comment below if you're expecting. Okay. That's funny. Thanks, Wyatt. Thanks for your help. Uh, yeah, no kidding. Thank Is you. that it? Are we already at the hour? Yeah. I mean, we're at 47 minutes. Oh, well, I feel like we got another. Thank you. No? Okay, you kicked me off. Thank you for your help. <laughs> Thank you for supporting me. Yep. That's what I'm here for. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Well, I'm like. The doing a good job. Yeah, <laughs> definitely doing very good. So thank you guys for listening. Make sure you rate, review, subscribe. Make sure you really subscribe because now we got a bunch of shit to talk about. And keep you updated on. Yay. Yeah. There's a lot going on. Big year of 24. Fun. Big year. Big year. 24. It feels like every year just keeps getting bigger. We, it's like I mean, oh, the, this year's the family has crazy. expanded every year. It's <laughs> insane. Love it. Has it really? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, granted, not this year, but technically mm-hmm. it starts this year. Yeah. So it's every year. We kind of get two years out of this one. Yeah. Because pregnant this year birth next year yeah yeah fun amazing isn't it see ya bye guys see ya